My name is Father Tom Rafferty. I'm currently the director of Minister to Priest for the Archdiocese of Galveston, Houston. I've been at this ministry, this beautiful act of service, for about two years. My mission or ministry is serving the needs of the priests in the Archdiocese. And I think we have a little over 400 priests who serve in the Archdiocese of Galveston, Houston. Some are order priests, some are um, with the diocese, but it's to help them um, have what they need to be successful and be fulfilled in their ministry. I'm Father Clark Sample. I'm the Episcopal Vicar for Clergy in the Archdiocese of Galveston, Houston. I'm also the Secretariat Director for Clergy Formation and Chaplaincy Services. Um, and so one of the various departments or offices I oversee is uh, the Ministry to Priest. As the Secretariat Director, I work regularly with the Ministry to Priest, Father Tom Rafferty, um, and support him in his role as he uh, performs his ministry to minister to the priest around the Archdiocese of Galveston, Houston. Sure, the minister to priest or the ministry to priest uh, works, I think, in a couple ways. One, it's formal programming for priests. For example, the minister to priest puts on the mentor workshop where young priests are paired together with an older priest so that older priest can mentor them and work with them and help them grow into their priesthood um, as a young priest. Also, the minister to priest puts on the Lenten Day of Prayer and where he finds an appropriate speaker to talk to all the priests to help prepare them uh, for their Lenten journey all the way to Easter. And the minister to priest also puts on, finds the speakers, presenters um, for um, the priest retreats. So we put on three annual retreats for priests for the archdiocese and he is the one who facilitates that. And then also, so those are the formal things the minister to priest does, he also I'd say is there for support for priests one-on-one -on -one, where you can go out and just be with priests, talk to priests, support priests in whatever various roles they're in around the Archdiocese. Yeah, my, my name is Father David Michael Moses. I've been a priest for about five years. I grew up here in Houston, so obviously I was very grateful for the priests that served in my parish growing up here in my confessions, um, bringing me uh, communion, all those things growing up, and it's a real honor for me now to be part of that priesthood, part, part of that uh, presbyteral fraternity and to be a recipient of the formation that we get um, as we come into uh, come through ordination as we enter ministry um, so I'm very grateful um, to be formed in that way and to have been part of it so the big thing is the mentor program here in the archdiocese which I'm very thankful for that as a newly ordained priest you're assigned a mentor I was very grateful to be assigned Monsignor Borski many people know him one of the buildings at the seminary is named after him and I actually was a seminarian for my pastoral year at his parish so he actually apparently had told uh, the priest who was in charge of the ministry to priest hey you know I'm willing to take Father David Michael if, if, if that's okay and so I was very grateful for that and um, so you go through a workshop together where you're able to talk and meet, kind of work through things um, as you begin priestly life, priestly ministry, and then you keep in touch, right? You have regular meetings, regular conversations. I called Monsignor several times when I just had certain questions about things. Um, obviously, we have our pastors as well, who are great mentors and other priests that we know, but it really is a gift to have one priest who has committed to being there, being available for you in that first five years of ministry, which for, in many cases, those first five years are, are the most difficult in priesthood, is what I've heard. Um, just like in marriage, you're kind of beginning to live a new life and there's some growing pains there, but how to live it well um, and live it in a healthy way. And so to have somebody who's gone before you, who is willing to uh, help you along the way was, was huge for me. So I'm very, very grateful for that. And I, even though I've passed the five years point of having an official mentor, I still talk to Monsignor Borski um, whenever I need help with stuff. The way the priest goes is the way the parish goes. So I think it's very important that we are caring for our shepherds. Um, the priest gives so, so much to the people. We want to make sure that the, that the priest himself is, is healthy, right? To make sure that he's in a place um, where he can give properly. And the way I've kind of heard it described is, um, you know, we're all supposed to be instruments of the Holy Spirit. And sometimes an instrument is sort of like a straw or a pipe where something passes through. Um, but when it comes to ministry, especially as a priest, we don't just want to be a conduit through which the Holy Spirit passes. Instead, we kind of want to be more like a reservoir that fills up and then overflows into others. So um, for us as priests, we don't just want to have the Holy Spirit going through us, but we want to be so filled with the Holy Spirit ourselves that it overflows into our ministry and to the people around us. So I think the ministry to priests um, really is a recognition of that reality 
and is trying to be of service there so that the priest can be so full of, of God's Word, of the Spirit of God, so that it flows out into, into other areas so that he can really serve his people, so that he himself is not, not running on empty. So um, for me to know, you know, as, as I begin, I'm still at the very beginning of you know, what will be a very long priesthood ahead of me, um, to know that I have uh, a minister to priest who is assigned to that and a ministry that is um, geared toward making sure that I can be filled up myself is a huge source of consolation and encouragement for the future.